going on out there, YouTube? Here we got the U.S. dollar. It came down from that double top I spoke about last night. Uh, came down into support and bounced. And came down uh, also because of uh, the dovishness of um, Janet Yellen. But uh, we did run into a double top last night, so I'm not going to blame it all on uh, Janet Yellen. But um, it sure did come down all the way into support as the EMA 13, 8, and the 34 are all right there on a daily chart. So let's see. On a 5-hour, still could come down quite a bit uh, into the 5-hour. As you can see, the 5-hour has uh, been bullish across the 34, doing its bullish retracement and moving forward and now doing another retracement. And I get a nice bounce as well. So, let's see what happens uh, for the rest of the week. But right now, it's still uh, a little bit bullish on the daily in the five hour. The weekly, on the other hand, is um, being knocked back from uh, previous lows. And you can see it's almost below the EMA 8 as it tried to get over this week. Uh, the EMA 13, it got knocked back. And um, could be another sign of bearishness, but we are working off of a higher low. Uh, this price needs to get above our previous top here, this double top previous high, and this previous high, which already knocked into it once. Uh, so we're still bullish on the weekly. But um, anything can happen. We're, we're bearish on the daily a little bit. Um, see what happens for the rest of the week. S&P came down, made a bottom. Uh, looks like we've got a double bottom working. Uh, it did want to come up, but it got pushed all the way back. Um, that could be construed as a uh, bearish retracement. So look for um, continuation on this thing as we are working from a double top and a f hanging man, uh, which after it was confirmed, it kind of just fell apart. Crossed the 34, came back into the 34 for its first bearish retracement. So if it breaks previous lows, uh, it can continue on to uh, the next support line, which would be 2040. So another... 20 points down. Um, the Fed was bearish, so it's likely. Uh, for the week, you can see that extension bar coming below. Uh, whipsawed across that double top. And now we uh, did bounce off of the EMA. 13 on a weekly. So we are at support. We got support all the way down to 2020. Uh, previous low is 2040. So we got, we got support on the way down, but um, uh, also we are working below on S&P, working below our our lower highs. So this could be construed as a um, whipsaw if this closes the week below our line there. So tomorrow's Thursday. Let's see what happens. Uh, the Dow, same thing, uh, working off that double top, uh, coming down all the way down. Uh, look for previous low breaks as it did come down, broke the 34, came back into the 34, got rejected, and now it can move lower. So uh, previous low break is 17.6. Uh, doesn't look good as we are working from a longer term on the daily, a lower high. Uh, weekly. See how we're faring for the week. See that nasty candle right there. Falling star confirmed and just boom. Uh, we are bouncing off the EMA 13 again, uh, but look for support uh, at 17.3 as 
as it comes back into the 34 on, a, on the longer term. It's likely to happen after this nasty weekly candle. Could take a while, a little back and forth on the dailies, but um, it's likely to reach 17.3. See what happens. Uh, NASDAQ uh, <coughs> turned bearish. It was uh, looking pretty tight and secure for a little while, but it just uh, kept going after it broke previous low here, which that could be almost a um, hanging man. Here's a falling star. Here's another hanging man. So lots it, the, this rounding top had a whole bunch of reversal bars. So there we go. Broke that previous low at 14 or 4 or 5 and just came all the way down, crossed the 34, came back across, bearish retraced. So now it could move lower after, let's call it 44 and, and below. Uh, for the week, let's see if we can see anything nasty. Uh, nothing really. That could be a reversal pattern off of that 34. But um, don't know yet. Let's see how we close for the week. Uh, if it bounces here, um, it could be in the green still. But we are working off the of lower highs. So there we go. Um, and then it, uh, we got a higher low here. So which is going to beat out? Uh, it looks like it's bearish for the week. Um, let's see, let's take a look, another look at Deutsche Bank as uh, a, lot, a lot of people were saying this could be the catalyst of holding uh, something like 70 trillion in uh, derivatives. And it's still right there. It had a little bounce today, but um, nothing to see yet. Same as yesterday. Uh, we are that looks like a, an inverted hammer for the day. Uh, maybe a bullish Harami. Um, lots of gaps everywhere. Either that or it's just thinly traded. But um, again, on the long term, it is below previous lows and just waiting to break down one more time as it could mean the collapse of Deutsche Bank. We'll see. Uh, crude is uh, still on its way down, uh, but we got a, a nice inverted hammer for the day. See if we can get an upturn uh, as it bounced inverted hammer there. Got knocked back after it flew above uh, 50. Came back below previous lows and just kept going. Uh, but this could be a nice bounce if it can hold. Uh, but uh, then again on the weekly, which is uh, more emphasis, is that nasty candle there. Uh, see, we got support at 46.73. See if we can get a bounce there. As this could, get, could um, just be reversed in an instant, but um, right now it's probably going to do a, a, a bullish retracement after it crossed on a weekly. Uh, had a nice run from this double bottom. Nice, almost a perfect hammer. Uh, then an inverted hammer, and then a pop. Continuation. Crossed the 34, came back into the 34, bounced off of the 8, boom, flat top break, took a ride. Um, that candle is uh, a reversal bar. So let's see how far it'll go down. Um, we want to stay above the 8 on a weekly chart, always. Uh, gold, nice day as we popped for the week. We came above that 1280, had support, came back into the 1280, boom, popped. Just like a little bouncing ball. Once we got above support, it popped, came back into support, boom, hit resistance and backed off just a tiny bit. 
what did we close? Closed at 1296. But definitely hit that 1300. Uh, look for a flat top break as our all time high, in intermediate all time high is 1303. So, can it do it? Psh, very easily. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do it this week. Uh, I just wanted to close this week above 1280. That would have been awesome, but um, it's it's on a ride. Uh, for the week, let's see how we fare in. Nice bullish piercing pattern is still in its continuation phase. Um, could it retrace, come back into support to 1280? Sure it could. It would be healthy too. Um, but I think the head fake is in on the miners. Um, could gold do a head fake too? Absolutely. Keep a watch on it. But we do have a double top, as you see on the long term, at 12, or at 1304, or at 1303. Let's call it 1304. Um, it's bullish. That two bar bullish piercing pattern, awesome. Um, silver, it's still going as well. Uh, we had, we did have a head fake as it bounced into the eight one more time. Crossed uh, 1750 and kept going. Went as high as 1762, backed off a little bit. Pretty nice. Uh, going back to gold, we want to make sure that we pay attention to the longer term chart on a monthly. That's going to be a, a three month flat top break plus a previous high break. Um, you can see the one two punch, right? One, two, punch. Let's see if we can bust through. We got, what is today? I got two weeks. No problem. The one two punch on a monthly chart. It's going to be nice to watch. Um, back to silver, going to a weekly. Uh, bullish for the week. Want to stay above the previous high. We want to break above previous high, so it, it tapped it. Let's see if we can close above 1760 for the week. Ultimately, we want to get this previous high over here. That way we can reach 18 and break through, no problem. So let's close above 1777 for the for the week. That would be uh, pretty badass. Uh, for the month, again, the one-two punch working its magic on a monthly chart. As it broke above, came back in to the eight this time. Hasn't consolidated above the 34 yet though, so it's lagging gold. But um. As far as I know, uh, once it gets going, it'll outperform uh, gold, and that gold to silver ratio will um, decrease quite a bit. I think it's been as high as 83 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold. But uh, flat top break is going to get us into previous lows, all the way to 24. Could be nice. Uh, Percentage-wise, it should go higher than gold. Uh, copper, I had a question about copper and some um, issues. Um, here's here's the AB bottom. A, B, bottom. Um, then it came back and then now we need to close on a higher low. Uh, that way we can keep working higher. Uh, but right now it looks good. Um, with the AB bottom coming through into resistance, coming back um, with a higher low. But if this all falls apart, it's not going to hold up. Um, let's say let's let's say if it breaks below two, uh, it's not going to hold up. This is a monthly chart. Uh, a weekly chart. You can see the balance. It I, it was it was on a tether. Uh, we still we we're still working off of this reverse head and shoulders bottom on a weekly, so it's still healthy as it came to a double bottom crossed again, but um, now we are 
in this trend on the downside. We need to break that trend, get above the 80, uh, the 34, and consolidate and act like gold and silver, but it's not doing that yet. It's uh, well below uh, 34, 8, and 13, which is all resistance. Uh, it broke into previous lows twice and got knocked back. So it's having some trouble on the shorter term. Um, but time will tell. Obviously, precious metals are on the rise. So is it, I think it's likely it, it will come back. And it has a nice bounce so far for the week. Uh, GDX, all these, uh, GDX, GDXJ, Nugget, um, not El Dorado, and Yamana, not El Dorado. All of these, GDX, GDXJ, Nugget, Yamana, and, and so many more out there, has this reverse head and shoulders pattern. Uh, you can see the left shoulder, head, right shoulder, completing, um, I believe the neckline would be that previous high. On Yamana, it would be 514, I thought it was 512, 513, wherever. Um, going to GDX, nice bounce off of that EMA 8, uh, filled the gap. We have the reverse head and shoulders. Look for a flat top break, um, starting with 26.50, use that as your support, and bust through the previous high, which is 26.90. See, so anything above 27, you're golden. And I just want to go through each one of these reverse head and shoulders again. GDXJ, the junior miners, is looking like it's going to be healthier. And a, a quick break here, flat top break. Nugget, what a reversal on Nugget. Pretty nice to watch. It was up, I think, as much as 15% today. And when you got a $100 stock up 15% in one day, I mean, that's that's pretty amazing. Um, you can see the reverse head and shoulders again. Reverse head and shoulders. Completing the right shoulder, watch the flat top break, the neckline break, um, Yamana as well. Um, I just want to go through this. No, typically these are bottom patterns, but because we had that um, um, the breakout and then the bullish retracement, and now we're working with this bottom pattern from the bullish retracement. Um, I want to go through the um, price target. So you take the bottom of the neckline and the head or the the bottom of the head and the neckline and you take that and you use that as a measured move. Uh, so after breaking neckline resistance the projected advance is found by measuring the distance from the neckline to the bottom of the head. This distance is then added to the neckline to reach price target. Any target, any price target should serve as a rough guide and any other factors should be considered as well, such as uh, resistance levels, retracements, and moving averages. Um, but quite generally, it's a measured move. You just take uh, let's take J GDXJ since it might, I think it might break first. But you take the bottom of the head and the top of the pattern, which is right there, 4135 from the bottom, and just take a measured move. So, whatever that is, you got it all over the place. GDX, GDXJ, Nugget, Yamana. Uh, Yamana should get to 8, according to uh, what this is saying. Uh, well known. Now, wait a minute. That was longer term. Hang on. Uh, f 4 to 5, so another dollar. Should get to 6 right away. Uh, El Dorado. 
Uh, well, let's let's look at uh, a longer term on all three of these or four of these. As they all have that one two punch on a long term. Look at the flat top breaks. So whenever you see this, you might see a pattern on the shorter terms. So this this pattern is showing a reverse head and shoulders. Um, longer term, you're looking at a measured move from that flat top break from 1236 to 27. Let's call it 20. Let's call it uh, 13 to 27. No, wait. Let's call it a thirteen dollar difference, just to be simple. So, from the flat top break, take thirteen dollars. That's long term. Uh, GDX J, same thing. Take the bottom. Let's call it. Uh, let's call it twenty to forty. Right? It's already done a measured move from the bottom. So another measured move would be another twenty bucks. Up to sixty, which is up to the previous low. Uh, nugget, same thing. Oh, well, I can't get really a good reading on Nugget. It's such a monster. But um, if you guys can just get a measured move, you, you can see the uh, one-two punch on Nugget. Uh, Yamana, same thing. Now, Yamana is different because it hasn't broken above the 34 yet. But um, the measured move is in from the first one. So let's call it um, let's call it three to five on a long term. So two dollars. Long term, we're going to get to seven. Let's see where the resistance are. Previous low seven. Meeting line is at six. Ultimate high would be eight, and then. I think um, we got a double top of 10 and up to 12. Maybe even 50% at 12 or 1350. 50% of this long candle. So long term, all every one of them looks good. All of them have the same pattern on the weekly or the daily. Um, fun to watch, uh, but you see these patterns all the time, obviously. Uh, El Dorado, a little different story, but um, same nice bounce. Had a rough time the past few days, but it had a nice bounce today. Uh, support is at 4. Watch uh, below there as it still needs to get above the 34 on a 5-hour. Daily, same thing. We're working off a double bottom, so that's awesome, but we are below on a daily. Um need to get above all of these averages on the way up, which is likely because everything else is going to pull it with it. Um, let's see, almost weekly looks healthy. So it bounced right off of the 8, right? Kind of a mess on the daily. But if you're paying attention to the longer term, you, you know you're kind of, you're, you're still in the game. Uh, for the week, uh, we got to stay above the eight always on the weekly, and then obviously on a monthly. Looking at it, as it hit the thirty-four and got rejected, we want to stay above previous high, four twenty approximately, for the month and for the week. So El Dorado looks good. Still, it's still healthy on a weekly. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, great stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, Janet Yellen is um, dovish again. All this hype about interest rate hikes. I mean, you got to think. What the news is not telling you is the Federal Reserve, a private corporation bank cartel. Um, on their balance sheet, 
they have like four point two trillion dollars in assets that are only worth like ten cents on the dollar. Um, for them to go out and raise interest rates would shoot themselves in the foot. They can't sell those derivatives at ten cents uh, on the dollar. They would lose so much money. And to raise interest rates on that dead money, four point two trillion dollars. Um, how are they going to pay that when they can't sell assets to do anything? So they're in a conundrum. Um, all this bull about raising interest rates because of the jobs market, I think it's a bunch of hogwash, and um, we should stop listening to them because it don't make any sense. Um, their private corporation has $4.2 trillion dollars in derivatives, and if they raise interest rates, that means they have to pay more interest on that debt. And it's just they they ain't gonna do it. They'll they'll point fingers otherwhere, but they're not. <laughs> they're just not gonna do it. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Please share, comment, and, and like, and uh, be be ready for these flat top breaks on a monthly chart. That's all I can say. It's gonna be awesome. See ya.